Hey everybody. Today I'm going to shoot what is probably an unnecessary correction video because I've been putting some bad information out there about how light works all these years. It's probably not that consequential and so I don't have to really worry about going back and getting rid of any videos where I may have mentioned this in the past. But I did learn something new. I have been putting bad information out there and if you know me, you know I'm a stickler for putting correct information out there. And so I do want to just address this one quick issue and then we're going to move on and from now on I'll just put proper information out there whenever we talk about aquarium lighting. So in the past I've mentioned how light is uh, follows the inverse square law, meaning that every time you double the distance away from the light source you're quartering the intensity and so when you move away from the light source and you've got a deeper aquarium this farther away the lights get from your or the plants get from your light it loses intensity very very quickly as you move away from it and that principle where you you every time you double the distance you quarter the intensity that is the inverse squared law and that's what I thought was a property of light I just thought that was the way light behaved because light is really weird stuff and it, it's a wave and it's a particle and you know so I just thought that was part of how light works but it's not that principle does apply or that law does apply but it only applies based on how the light is distributed it's not a prince it's not a property of the light itself it is a property of the distribution process so if you've got a single point of light a single central source of light and the light is emanating out in 360 degrees in all directions then if you double your distance away from the light source, you will quarter the amount of photons that are actually striking you. So you're, you know, you double the distance, you quarter the intensity. That is a process that happens because of the way the light is moving out away from that central source. If you had a reflector on one side of that and now you're focusing light in this direction, that inverse squared law no longer applies because you're focusing light in this direction. And if we take that same thought all the way to its logical conclusion and we come to a laser beam, we can very clearly see that that simply does not hold true. It's not a property of the light. It's a property of the way the light distributes off of that one central even source. The same thing would hold true if that was a water source. If you had a source that was spraying water out in 360 degrees, every time you got doubled your distance away from that water source, a quarter of the amount of droplets of water would be hitting you. You would not have to move very far away from that water source at all before you weren't really getting very much water on you at all. But if something was focusing that water in your direction, now you can be much, much further away from it and you're still going to get a lot of water spraying on you. Light behaves exactly the same way for all intents and purposes, for, for the purposes of this conversation, certainly. And so when we have light in our aquarium, and in this case, if they're LEDs and they're directional and they've got focal beams and they've got lenses in there that are angling that light that inverse square law just it's completely irrelevant in those circumstances the, the difference in the amount of light from the top of my tank to the bottom of my tank has far more to do with how much um, you know the clarity of my water than it does anything else the light itself is not really losing any intensity worth speaking of in such a highly focused type lighting situation but if you've got an incandescent light bulb and you got a reflector behind it that's reflecting the light downwards again you're getting much much more of that light focused in the direction you want and so that distance you move away from the light source really greatly reducing the impact of the light is not true. Now, you can only move so far away from it. You are losing intensity as you move away from it, but you're not losing it rapidly as I've been led to believe and as I've led other people to believe uh, over the years. And so again, I just felt it necessary to make that correction. So moving on, every time I'll talk about light, I will either just sort of readdress that and mention it in passing, or we simply won't talk about that at all anymore. And we'll just pretend that whole inverse square law thing never happened so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed that one make sure you ring that bell you'll get notified on all my upcoming videos and don't forget i do a live stream every friday night and sunday night where i try to make myself available to answer questions troubleshoot your problems so on and so forth so if you're interested in that uh, make sure you again subscribe ring that bell all that good stuff you know the routine friday night sunday night 8 p.m eastern time i'll be here hope to see you there